Hey everybody, this is Ardaramus. Uh, I just want to give you a quick video update and share with you some really exciting news regarding XNA. And I uh, wanted to kind of show you how this is going to transform uh, the way that we program and do our tutorials in the future. I would really like to be focusing on this instead of GDI. Even though GDI is probably a little bit more universal, um, the performance is absolutely horrible. Uh, I'd like to thank Calamus1, I hope I got your name right there, um, for doing the first translation of my tutorial code into XNA. And I want to show you exactly um, how awesome the performance increase is on there. These, uh, the translation is based on some tutorial videos by RM2KDev. Uh, at xnatutor.com. I recommend you guys check that out. Uh, definitely worth your while. Um, especially if you've been, you know, really suffering with poor frame rates. I know some of you have been getting uh, TPS here down in, you know, the 0 to 1 range, probably based upon your uh, machine's performance and capabilities. So, uh, I know that mine here is running at 23, and but I have had trouble on some mine at home, and I just want to show you real quick what XNA is going to do for us. So, uh, give me one second here, and I will load that up for you. Okay. All right. So let's close this out. I'm going to kick this one off here. Now. What you're seeing is Calamus 1's translation. Uh, I went ahead and added the rest of the map from the previous tutorial one. You can see that our frames per second is just extremely high. Um, on this computer, I'm getting you know roughly 3,700 ticks per second there. If I shrink the window, you know that goes up substantially. And, of course, if I maximize, it's going to go way down, but um, I'll tell you what. <laughs> 1,050 frames per second over uh, 22 frames per second is pretty awesome in my book. Uh, it's so fast that, you know, we're going to have to use a timer control to uh, control the character's movement because he is just, you know, runs so fast he just blazes right through the map. <laughs> So, but that'll give you an idea, um, and hopefully a lot of hope for those of you that have been suffering with real laggy uh, tutorial programs and stuff. You know, if you've been following my tutorials and you've been really suffering because of it, uh, this will be really awesome. I'm not going to lie to you; there is a little bit of a learning curve, um, but it's really, it's really not that bad. I mean, in a couple of days here. I've committed most of the X and A, you know, the main functions and stuff to memory, which is, you know, that's saying a lot because I have a really bad memory. Uh, and I'll still have to go through it probably a few more times uh, to get the hang of it. If you, n if you look here closely, you'll notice that most of this code is um, pretty familiar if you've been following my tutorial videos. So you can see that the adaptation uh, fits in here very nicely. So you're not going to have to go and relearn everything that you learned before. Most of what you'll be learning will be tied to our drawing routine. Um, uh, where is that? The, dra the draw graphics here. Um, you know, you can see that we're doing sprite batch draws and stuff, and there's also a bit of a load here on this graphics initialization. This is where most of the, the meat is, and as you can see, it's not huge. I mean, it's not really scary, so it shouldn't take you long at all to, um, to get that down. Uh, there is one other thing, you know, there's a class that gets pulled in, CLS content, and in RM2K Dev's uh, video, he doesn't really explain what this does. If you kind of poke through it, you might get an idea. Uh, I haven't really dug through it. And I, as much as I hate to just 
uh, copy and paste code, and it seems to be uh, doing the trick. I like I really like to understand what's happening. So my next step is to go ahead and you know just dig through this class and try to understand what it's doing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, right now, as far as tutorials go, I'm working on a, a tutorial that's a little different than what I've been focusing on before. And I hate to spread out in so many directions, but um, some people had kind of asked me, well, how do you connect to a database or you know store things in a database? Uh, for either online games or you know just maintaining your character data and information and stuff so I wanted to just go through the the very basics of connecting to a database you can see I've been working on this here um, trying to hash out a little uh, project for the tutorial it's a little sneak peek um, anyway uh, so that's kinda what I've been busy with and uh, I hope you'll bear with me as I, you know, I'm kind of juggling all these things and my day job at the same time. So uh, I will try to get these out as soon as I can. I wish you all well and appreciate you stopping by. Uh, catch you later.